Hi guys, I want to create a simple video to show the connection between um, HDR Live Studio and V-Ray for Rhino 3.0. Um, I just want to start by adding uh, interactive rendering. Notice that this is the uh, environmental setup by default in Rhino. So we have an HDRI there. Um, if you don't have the environment tab already open, so you could go to the panels and enable environment and editor, or you could right click on one of the panel and enable the environment. So that's going to bring the Rhino environment tab where you could add multiple environments. So I just want to mention that V-Ray support Rhino environments. V-Ray 3.0 support Rhino environments. So I'm going to click there. Um, just to start the demonstration, I'm going to add the basic environment for Rhino. Double click there. And if you see those yellow uh, triangles on the corners, mean that this environment is active. So I'm going to enable or assign an HDRI image to that Rhino environment. I'm going to use this one. And notice how we update that right and if you want to increase the intensity or rotate the environment so you have to do it through here I'm going to increase the intensity to 5 for example and then we have a brighter result this is only with the Rhino environment but we use the same approach to link the HDR studio so I want I'm going to click on the plus sign again but this time I'm going to add the HDR light studio environments double click and of course nothing happened because the triangle said that the Rhino environment is active so I'm going to double click to active HDR Studio environment notice that it's black because I don't have any light at all I'm going to click on show HDR Studio and this is going to bring the HDR Studio software and then you can see how we actually automatically update so and then you could play with HDR Studio with the uh, with a regular workflow. So I'm going to drag and drop a uh, softbox. I'm going to make that bigger, brighter. And I'm going to notice how this is updates. Um, I'm going to just either duplicate the light or I'm going to duplicate that light. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it outside. And I don't know where I want to put that light, so I'm going to select star light paint. And then I want to pick um, this area here. Notice how we update the models. Then I'm going to add a warm light. This is a regular approach that I use. I'm going to make it bigger, probably brighter also. And then I'm going to still use light paint. I'm going to paint this corner. I want to see that light in this corner. So you can see that light there, of course, maybe a little bit brighter. Notice how it's bright, probably more. It's brighter and brighter. Anyway. So I just want to show you how to work with HDR Studio and V-Ray. Of course, if you want to improve your um, HDR a little bit more, I'm going to add an image. Select, um, I don't know, this guy. And then it's a little bit more dynamics there. And that's, this, is, this is how we actually um, support HDR Studio and V-Ray 3.0. Thank you. Bye-bye.